Hey, what is up? Citizen Meta One here again today, testing out what I consider my first production ready VTuber rig. So the first change that I've made today uh, and the primary one is that my shoulders have this type of movement. One of the main comments I got on TikTok was that my shoulders felt stiff. So what happens now is when I turn my head side to side, is that my shoulders are kind of shifting, right? The shoulder silhouette is changing like this. And so I wanna show what's going on to make this possible and what gives it this type of behavior, which I think is really nice and one of the nicest ones I've put together. It does feel overall natural, uh, at least in my opinion. That when I turn my head, I am just shifting weight from one leg to the other. This is all being done completely procedurally in control rig. And there are three layers of smoothing and delaying and turping and verlaying to make it move like this so it doesn't move as robotic. I hope that this has somewhat of a, a natural feel, uh, whether I'm moving very slowly like this or if it's a fast turn side to side, it's designed to be able to smooth that out and make that look nice. So that's what's happening uh, with the lower body. This is the bread and butter framing for this system. So to go over this again, we have a valve index controller and another valve index controller. And then optionally, you can use elbow trackers if you wanna be able to hit poses like this and have basically wrist control. If you don't have elbow trackers, you're not gonna be able to move your wrists independently from your elbows. Your elbows will essentially follow your wrists, which is what the earlier solver looked like. If you wanna give your upper body just a little bit of normal swaying that you can just basically slowly turn your head side to side, not too far, and your body is going to kind of follow it, right? And you, will, you remember that lower body is basically just shifting your weight back and forth, and that's gonna be changing the silhouette line of your shoulders back and forth. Now, if you stop, it's gonna be pretty pronounced uh, if you're constantly moving back and forth and you stop for emphasis and then you can turn and move your hands. Turn, move your hands, look up, move your hands, look down, move your hands. And this type of motion is kind of funny, but I think generally that's the way that, um, to give a smooth presentation with this system, that's how it's working. We're just gonna constantly be slowly moving our head back and forth and then for emphasis, we can move our head, then our hands. Head, hands head, hands, or slower and smoother, but it's head first so that the body starts moving and then your hands kind of whip together. And then together with our secondary hand animation, with the bouncing and the settling, it gives this sort of animated but smooth and I hope realistic uh, motion to your upper body. And um, yep, that wraps it up. And I'll see you on the next video. And I'll be again using this upper body solver for a couple of projects coming up. Pretty happy with how it turned out. And yeah, see you on the next one. Peace out.